hi lovelies and welcome back to today's vlog i am doing something different on the channel today i will take you guys shopping with me to the two stores that i patronize the most for my monthly shopping just to show you my process and how i kind of move around the store and what i look out for when i'm actually in the store all right so i'm starting off at farm foods i'm just getting some of my frozen bits and then i'm going on to the sauce section i'm also picking up some of my monthly staples the ogs on the channel know that there are some recurring items on my shopping list each month and i this is one of the combos that i look out for initially when i started shopping at farm foods two bags of chips like this used to be five pounds but now it has gone up to seven pounds i've also switched to canned um tomatoes and last month it was four for one pound this month it is three for one pound so that's kind of how i monitor the prices and check out for deals i also have staples that i've always used for a very long time this two pack um toilet roll has kind of been the same price since i started using it since Dalentin almost two years ago and yeah some of the prices stay the same some have gone up but yeah this is the kind of things that i look out for i also find some of the african food that i'm used to or some of the substitutes that i buy for example these noodles you guys you know with farm foods like i told you that you can always get coupons and get cash back every time you shop with them is that how you get cash back or you get a discount men and brethren i forgot my coupons at home because i'm coming straight from work and these people gave me coupons in the store they do not keep it for themselves they gave me coupons to use in the store honestly farm foods if you're not shopping at farm foods you are milling something you are milling something so right, when we get home i still have to get to aldi to pick up one or two things but when i get home we get to see everything okay all right you guys so we're moving on to aldi now and once you enter aldi and you start seeing the plants know that they are starting to round up for the day but what is an aldi run without digging for original watermelon if your watermelon doesn't have a yellow bit on it it's not sweet enough it's not going to be good okay so i read a couple of sections i went through the food section the vegetable section and honestly you guys i don't know about you but i love some of the vegetable options that they carry here in aldi uh, i also like to get this pack of fresh tomatoes for fried eggs and that i also read it the spice section and i picked up cumin for the first time but once i smelt it when i got home i didn't really like it but i'll try to use it anyway i also got a few new items that i have not picked up before and yeah when we get home i'll show you all the items that i feel like you know were rather new to what, what i'm used to buying anyway i went to the fridge section to pick up some of our staples like the children's yogurt because men and brethren it is back to school week next week for the boys and honestly i cannot wait all the incessant snacking will soon be over anyway i made my way to the cosmetic section where i could not find the strawberry or the same raspberry shampoo for the conditioner that i wanted but i got the next best thing which was the apple um, shampoo which i hope smells nice because i have to wash a couple of my wigs but i don't know about you guys i love to go from section to section like i love to go through each and every single aisle well, it is the dog and cat section i go through all the aisles enter my entire store for monthly shopping i don't know why it's kind of what i've always done but anyway as soon as i was done shopping i made my way to the self-checkout because i just find that i am not standing i'm waiting for someone to ring me out before i leave the store anyway like i said you guys i was coming from work so i didn't bring my shopping bag so all the things i bought from farm foods and aldi i just put them in the trolley and then dumped them in the boots but you guys i was knackered at this point i was completely tired but i had to return the trolley and get my morrison coin i told you guys about this about a year ago but this morrison coin is what i use in replacement for the one pound that you need to rent a trolley small aldi when i enter just now 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 almost 40 pounds 
Halleluja. Vill jag? Jag har fått en liten Wait, wait, do we want to go home? Like, do we want to go somewhere else before we go home? No, we're not going somewhere else. I don't know where we've tried. Ah, you don't want to go home? <laughs> oh, whoa, oh, whoa, oh, whoa, oh, mommy, whoa, oh, mommy. I said, what? on, on, on last week, Saturday, you said, um, tell me your plan. And I, 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 I don't know. have any other plan except to see my bed and sleep. Yes. I don't want to eat. I just want to sleep. Yes, I'm tired. And, and I, and I included um, the park and you didn't let us go to the park. But you went for soccer practice. Did you not go for soccer practice? No, last week, last week Friday. Oh, last week Friday, didn't go to soccer I'm sorry. Practice. I'm sorry. Please, Asha, I'm tired. Alright, you guys. So, we just got home. And I am tired. Like, everything is still on the floor. This month's shopping... I can't account for everything because my husband bought some things and we still have some back stock from the previous month so this is my full shopping but it's what I have to do I was thinking I was going to do still do some shopping at the African food store but it's not looking like it because I have major expenses this month and I can't be spending all the money anyway you guys to show you what we got we got uh seven bell peppers and this should be enough for the month if i run out i'll just go out and buy some more i also got my staple chicken wings from farm food i love this wings i love the cuts anyway i picked up these two um bags of chips this crinkle cut and the regular one i also got my baby okra from farm foods this stores well in my freezer i also picked up two bags of thick sausages for english breakfast i hope to do that this month and then i got my regular hot and spicy chicken tenders i got a regular one for the boys as well and then i got this new one this is the pork spare ribs i'm looking to try that this month saw it for the first time in farm foods and i also picked up this lemon and herb chicken i'll let you guys know how it tastes i picked up two long peppers from aldi as well this is almost our regulars and i picked up my raspberry combo um pineapple and mango this used to be three four five pound when i first started buying them at farm foods we've gone up now i also got this bag of minced um from farm foods i got two bags of spinach from aldi this is stable in the nigerian home i got um, some carrots as well for our coleslaw and things like that i picked up two crates of eggs these are the 15 um, fresh eggs from farm foods i got four packs of yogurt for the boys for after school um, and that i picked up four um, tubes of tomato paste this goes to you know sauces and that for tins of sardine this is sardine in sunflower oil i also picked up four cans of plum tomatoes this is for soups and stews i also got two blocks of butter i intend to bake this month and i also use it for jollof rice as well i have one pack of spaghetti here for myself and the boys and some hellman's mayonnaise this is my favorite mayonnaise at the moment i also got some spray oil the one i have doesn't dispense well so i'm replacing that i got some oregano some cumin as well as some smoked paprika to update my spice rack and then i got some coconut milk for coconut jollof rice i intend to do later this month as well as a jar of blackberry jam for the boys i got some garlic as well for this month and I picked up my Udogu watermelon. I love watermelon. We all love watermelon in this house. I also got some um, sandwich bags. This is new in our monthly shopping. By the way, this is great for on the go breakfast. I also got a twin pack of kitchen towels. And these are the lemon scented ones. I always get this. This is once in a blue moon that I get um, cotton wool pads for my makeup and that. I also picked up some bags of crisps, ready salt crisps as well as some cheddar and onion crisps for the boys this usually goes in their school bag they've opened one um i also got some chicken noodles and this is the maggie flavor i picked up some of my stable brown sugar um and then i picked up a 
tub of fresh tomatoes for fried eggs and then some easy peelers they already opened some of this in the car um i also got a bag of baked potatoes i'm looking to try jagged potatoes this month see how the boys like it and some mints i also picked up a box of tetley for work i got some conditioner and some shampoo to wash my wigs with this month i think i'll be washing a couple of them because i haven't done that in a while anyway you guys that concludes our shopping for the month of april i'm going ahead to just make the easiest thing i know how to make by the way we spent 150 pounds for this entire shopping 150 and change um yeah so just in case anyone was wondering i'm just going ahead to mix up some sardine and some hellman's mayonnaise i'm just going to mix that together in a bowl and put the sauce in between some bread cut it up make some hot chocolate and tea as the case may be everyone is happy and i don't have to stand over any hot burner and make any concussion tonight because i'm really that tired the time check right now is something around 8 to 9 p.m and yeah i'm tired like coming from work and then i have to go shopping i'm not i'm not i was in the right frame of mind for any ceremony anyway you guys i cut up the bread and the boys were already you know asking what are we having what are we having i like i can't be stressed you guys whatever you see we eat tonight i'm not in the mood to cook any special meals tonight because you know there's some days when i can stand and cook for hours and hours i don't even feel it even after i've had a long day but today wasn't just one of them anyway you guys i just went ahead to mix up whatever and everyone was going to have and then the boys just had their dinner we basically just hung out in the kitchen had our dinner asked about the boys day you know just to find out what everyone was up to while mom was at work and yeah it was a fun time catching up with the family in the kitchen this is probably where we spend if i'm not joking more than 70 percent of our time in the day I mean when everyone is active if i don't have a meeting or or something like that but anyway you guys before we go i just want to unbox my degusta box with you guys quickly degusta sent me a box every single month to unbox with you just to show you what comes in the box if you're also looking to get your box i highly recommend that you use my coupon code as displayed on your screen this gives you um three percent off your first box and yes it is absolutely worth it i get some interesting items each each month so yes it is worth checking out uh thank you guys for watching i will see you guys in my next one remember to like share subscribe and i'll see you guys later